This tutorial will show how to integrate an MLG2 ProNet for EtherCAT into a TwinCAT 3 PLC environment. Additionally, an application is solved where a transparent glass pane is to be detected. For this application, the function number of beams blocked is required. First of all, open the software TwinCAT 3 and create a new TwinCAT project from the start page. Type in a name for the project and click the OK button. Once the project is created, choose the operating system, that is, the PLC, by double-clicking on System in the Tree menu on the left side of the screen. Click on Choose Target and then on Search Ethernet. Click on Broadcast Search and tick the network adapter which is connected to the PLC and confirm. When the list updates, select the connected PLC, in this case the CX9020. Close the window with the listed PLCs and confirm the CX9020 as the target system with OK. A window will pop up in order to change the solution platform from the computer to the PLC. Click on Yes. On the bottom right corner of the screen, a green and yellow symbol indicates that the PLC is running. Click on the blue Restart TwinCAT Config Mode button from the Quick menu and confirm the Restart in Configuration Mode with OK. The configuration mode allows a search for new devices. Select Devices in the Tree menu and then click on the Scan button from the Quick menu. Since the MLG2 can be found by the scan, dismiss the pop-up hint with OK. A window will pop up to ask on which buses the search should be performed. Select only the EtherCAT field buses and confirm with OK. Answer Yes to scan for boxes. The next message will prompt either to load the available description file or to search for description files from the web. Click on Yes to load the available file from the device itself as it is the matching file to the MLG2. The other alternative would be to download the file from the website. The next message informs that a CAN Open Master is connected to the PLC and prompts to create a corresponding device. Answer No as it is not needed for the EtherCAT MLG2 light grid. Answer Yes when prompted to activate Free Run. Now the devices are listed on the tree menu. Box 4 is the IO-Link master and box 5 is the MLG2. Expand the box 5 to display the currently selected functions transferred via process data. Click on the process data tab from the main window. The big box on the top, the PDO list, displays the whole list of functions which could be transferred as process data. The small box on the bottom is the PDO assignment list where the addresses of each function are written. The desired functions should be ticked in this list. Now untick the 0x1a10 address, that is, the RLC function, from this list in order to disable it. This function is not needed in this example. The addresses 0x, 1a, 0 02 related to the number of beams blocked function should be enabled. The number of beams blocked function is the required function to solve the application in this example. Switch to the CAN over EtherCAT COE tab where all the possible index numbers, which is the available amount of service data, are listed. Search in the list for device mode entry and double click it. Change the decimal value according to the user manual. As the application is the detection of a transparent glass pane, the transparent mode is required. The manual states that the transparent mode is mode 1, so 1 is entered and confirmed with OK. Now the sensitivity needs to be set. Double click on transparent mode and change the value to 2, which is 10% signal attenuation. This information comes from the manual again. 10% signal attenuation is required to detect a transparent glass pane. Once the device mode and the sensitivity is changed, a teach-in of the device is necessary. Double-click on the teach-in entry and change the decimal value to 1, true. Once the teach-in is performed, change the value back to 0, false. The next step is to add a program to the PLC. Right-click on PLC in the tree menu. Click on Add new item and select the standard PLC project template. Name the PLC template and finish by clicking on Add. TwinCAT will create a PLC task in the tree menu 
and a PLC project with a given name. By selecting the PLC task, it is possible to configure it according to the application requirements. Expand the created PLC project and then the folder POUs, which contains the main program. Select the main program to set the variables which are connected to the transfer data of the light grid. Click on the second command line, VAR, and hit enter to create an extra line. In this case, three functions were selected and their variables will now be added. These functions are switching output status, system status and number of beams blocked. int for integer is used as data type because all functions have data width of 16 bit, that is 2 bytes, and int data type has exactly 2 bytes. All functions are assigned to an input, that is the percentage i star sign. Now click on build in the top menu and then on build solution so that the variables will be available at the hardware configuration. Confirm the warning message with OK. The warning appears because up to now no variable is connected to the hardware. After the successful build, select box 5 in the tree menu to get back to the MLG itself. Double click each function and assign a variable to it, confirming with OK. Click on the Activate Configuration icon and confirm the message with OK and confirm the restart of TwinCAD in Run Mode with OK. On the bottom right corner, the green Run Mode symbol is displayed. Go back to the main program from the PLC and click on the Download icon to download the three variables. When prompted to create an application and proceed with the download, click on Yes. Click on the Start button. The online data values will then be displayed. When the light grid is interrupted with the transparent glass pane, the values of the variables change. The output switches and the number of beams blocked value changes. Thank you for watching this tutorial and see you next time.